I'm definitely happy that I came here. <laughs> yeah. and I think it's the best decision I did. Yeah. I have grown uh, even in the way I see it. Father Adu, today we have a special guest, and uh, it's been a while since we did an interview. And thank you so very much, guys, for the support you showed me for on my last interview with Shiko Hope TV. And today we have another another powerful woman. And you know, these days, uh, you know, we believe in women. So I'm glad because I'm a son of a woman and I'm a son of a single lady. So I I am proud of women, mothers, and everybody out there. So without much ado, we have a guest today. I'll let her introduce herself so that we have a nice discover moment right here. And so without further ado, let me introduce to you guys uh, my guest today. Hello, Terry. Hi, Farrell. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> You're much welcome. You're much welcome. Yeah, I'm Thank Terry. I'm Terry, and I am so happy to be in your channel and uh, to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with you. And yeah, thank you so very much, Terry. Terry, Terry, Terry. So um, you just tell tell us about yourself. Uh, just uh, tell our viewers who are you, where you come from. If you are you in space, uh, where where you live, you know, just uh, give us a short introduction about yourself. Okay, my name is Terry Wamboy, and I'm originally from Kenya, and currently I reside in the USA, more so Dallas, Texas. I am a digital analyst, and also I am a YouTuber. Check my channel, Ter a Terry Inspiring World, and yeah, that's all about oh, me. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Terry. Thank you for that uh, introduction. Well, I didn't even know you were a data analyst. I think we'll talk on the side about that <laughs> because I'm also aspiring to be one. Uh, but once again, Terry, uh, welcome back. And guys, like you've said, uh, she's from Kenya and she's in America. So here we bring you hope and uh, we bring you people who have made it. And, uh, you know, we also tell you like you can make it just like them. So, yeah, so that this is Terry. Once again, welcome. And so, um, Terry, my viewers or our viewers want to know, like, um, have you been in America all your life? Were you born here? Uh, which state are you in? Like, uh, you said you're originally from Kenya, but tell us about your journey. Uh, so, I came to the U.S. Uh, in 2018, and, yeah, I've been here for almost five years. Wow. I'll be five years next year around Feb. That's and right. yeah, I came here with green card and I I stay in Dallas, Texas. Okay. It's been amazing. Wow. So, so uh, that means you can uh, tell our people like the green card is there and it's uh, true. Like it's there because some people say, uh, is there a lot trade uh, out there? Like people say they, there's no green cards. Like it was abolished. I had some people say that. There is green card, and what I can say is that you know most people try it the first time they don't win, and uh, they just quit. I tried for three times, failing, and yeah. I got it the fourth the fourth time. So when you try and you fail, don't uh, don't come to conclusion that there is no green card. Keep trying, and your time will come. That's all I can say. Okay. <laughs> why? Why? Why the green card? Why did you wanna? You know, you tried three times, and uh, the fourth time you won. Like you said, why? Like uh, maybe Kenya, you had a job, you had a life. Why try the green card? Why? Why did you wanna come to the US? The funny thing about me is that uh, when everybody completes their 
university that is i used to go to technical university of kenya where mm -hmm. i studied civil engineering and once i completed the school and mean graduated i was like the crazy one because i never <laughs> used to look for a job in kenya i used to apply canada us australia those were my okay. dream country wow. and i would share with my friend and they were like i, I think you're crazy and then I got a job in Kenya, but I still continued to apply for green card. And that's how I came here because uh, my desire and my wish was always to come to the either USA, Australia and Canada. Wow. Yeah. So like you were just inspired, like you just wanted to get out of Kenya and just go out there and explore the world, you know? Yeah, yeah. I felt my destiny was not there at that time. Uh, and it was somewhere else. I had to pack and go. <laughs> okay, Terry, even before we continue, I think uh, there's something I got from there because mm -hmm. we have so many people who are trying to do things. Mm -hmm. But maybe you're trying to start a business. Maybe you're trying to do something else, but you're just there seated. You're doing nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, you're, you're trying to go out, out of Kenya. You're trying to go to another country. And uh, you're asking us for a lot of information, but you are not doing anything like about it you're just there but i heard like you used to like apply for jobs out there like what do you tell people like if you want something so bad if you know in your heart that you want to go somewhere mm -hmm. like follow your dreams yeah. and sometimes you will come across some cons if you're not careful for example i had applied one job in abu dhabi that is uh in the middle east and uh, I like the, the company was fake online, you know, God. because I was so focused in applying job <laughs> outside. Yeah. So I, I was almost gone. So all I can say is that, uh, like, know what you want. If pursue it, be persistent and don't give up. Just keep doing it. One okay. time you will make it. One time you will go where you want. Yeah. So don't lose hope. Just, yes, don't lose hope. Just continue doing what you're doing. Yes. Thank you. Uh, so you won the green card and um, how did you feel? Like you've been trying three times and here you are, the results are out and you won. I was so happy. I was, yeah. <laughs> I was so happy. I couldn't believe because one thing, <laughs> yeah. I, was, I, I was actually at the office and I was looking for a result and I was not expecting that because I had tried. Okay, I had. It's like you're losing hope, but you want to try it anyway. Exactly. And I was jumping like a crazy person. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, um, so when you let, let's let's just jump uh, in, well, like when you came here. So you said you had a career back home. Did you have a family? Um, no, I'm not married. I'm single. But uh, everybody. Everybody is back home, like my mom and my brothers, uh, yeah. my dad, uh, yeah. everyone yes. is in Kenya. Everybody. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you are here in America, 2018. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, this has been your wish. You've been wanting to just go out there. You came here. What was your first, you know, experience? What, your what did you feel when you first landed in the USA? Like your first week, like, how did you like it? I was at at first I was super excited, yeah. but the first few months I had homesick. I, I was <laughs> from back home. But then again, I remembered my dream and I kept on pressuring on. Uh, yeah. yeah, no matter what. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Thank you. So, um, so life in the USA. You've moved from Kenya. You had a career there. Life in the USA. How was it? Like, um, did you find any difficulties? Uh, you know, culture shock. Everything. Yeah, the culture shock. Oh, social life. The food. <laughs> Different environment. Like yeah. it was. It was it was difficult uh, to be in the beginning, but okay. um, as I progressed uh, day by day, uh, I loved it more. Okay. Yeah. So, what about uh, jobs? What, jobs what I, you... I got my job the second week. Oh wow! In the USA, yeah. Okay. I... Did you get whatever you you were doing in Kenya? 
I didn't get whenever I was <laughs> That's reading. That's why I'm laughing because yeah. The thing with me is that before I came from before I came to the USA, I didn't want to continue uh, being a civil engineer. I oh. wanted to venture in IT. Okay. And that's what I was focused on. So I didn't even bother myself looking for a job in that area. I started looking for school to go and uh, researching more on the IT stuff, data analysis, those kind of things. Oh, wow. So you, you just wanted a fresh start? Yes, I wanted a fresh start. Yeah, because I think that's a very like uh, discouraging thing. Like me, they used to call me a doctor back home. Mm -hmm. So, like, when you come here and then you're told, like, no, you cannot practice. You need the to go thing back with to me, <laughs> Sorry for interruption. The thing with me is if I wanted, I could have gone back to school maybe, like, two years. Yeah. But before I even came, I didn't know you, you have to go, like, to do two more years. But I had already made my mind. I don't want to continue. It's not that I didn't love civil engineering, but I, I had done... I wanted to do three things in school, IT, uh, civil engineering, and uh, accounting. OK. But now, coming to, I, I was doing my research, what is marketable, uh, the space, the environment, especially the climate change. You can imagine you're supervising something is snowing, uh, the mm -hmm. summer are crazy. So I had already made my mind, I'm not going to, to pursue that. Wow, OK. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So did you achieve your dream of be uh you know doing IT? Yes. Oh, I am wow. currently working. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. I think uh in the USA you can become anything you want. You yes, you can become anything you want if you put your mind to it. Oh wow, yeah. That's yeah. that's the thing. So I I I think those people who are discouraged even starting from zero, you can just and and the good thing with here you can work and still go back to school. Yes, that's it. The school is very flexible. It's not like Kenya is fixed. It's very flexible. You can choose the subject that you want to do. Yeah. 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 Wow. I would, I would tell in, anyone out there who is afraid to start, you can start over again. You can also pick up from where you left and maybe go like two years behind uh, the school and you'll be good to go. I think we are very similar because like uh, when I came here, I, I just wanted to do what I, I, I was doing back home. But they told me like I have to repeat. Um, I have to start from zero. But then I was I think I wasn't ready. And so it, I took some few years to know what I really want to do. And I changed my my major to something totally different. And, um, you know, I'm enjoying it. So, yeah, this is the USA. I think you can do anything you want. Just put your mind to it, as Terry here says. So, um, Terry, compare your life back home in Kenya and here in the United States. What changed? Are you the same person? Um, is there any, anything new? Are you happy like you came here? I'm definitely happy that I came here. <laughs> yeah. and I think it's the best decision I did. Wow. I have grown uh even in the way i see things more open-minded okay um yeah yeah that's all i can think of right now. so you like uh so what are some of the difficulties that like uh, you've encountered here like in kenya maybe you used to live like this and maybe here in the usa it's it's so different and you miss it it's the social life especially i was very active in church i used to go to the deliverance church okay and here, like the youth, when when they say youth, it's like teenagers <laughs> to around. I don't know. But it's like there is no. I'm youth laughing youth. because oh my god, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I used to be active, and now since I moved here, I felt like I don't like that was some, a part of me was taken away, and I am oh, still wow. recovering from that. And also, when you have friends, you have to book appointment to go see them because you may end up surprising yourself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I think here, like, uh, you cannot just go to somebody's door and knock. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I just came to check on you guys. You'll be like, okay, who invited you? Like, yeah. yeah. Because back home, you know what we used to do. Like, you can just go to your friend's house. You don't care if you get their mom there, if they, you just sit down and have a cup of tea. But I think here is quite, quite different. So yeah. 
Yeah, so I think um, those are some of the differences that we had to deal with. And so how how do you deal with this social life? Like, um, how do you deal with these differences? Because like coming here, you're going to school and then you're working. You just come back to the house, you sleep. Then you go back to work. You don't see no friends. How how did you make friends? Or if you have friends, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I I met my best friend uh, in college when I was doing school, and mm -hmm. uh, they are far away. One friend is like one hour away, another yeah. one in another state. Okay. So yeah, it it will take a while to see each other. You know. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, and you have to live with that. Uh, yes, like... you have to. But the good thing about me is that. Uh, even though I was active back in Kenya, I'm still an indoor person. So that kind of helps me a little bit. Wow. Um, so let's talk about like, uh, so here in America, like we have so many people like who want to move here, like from yeah. Kenya, maybe young people, old people. And uh, sometimes people come here and get lost. Mm -hmm. Like they don't have a direction because uh, some time back, I went to visit Seattle, and then um, I got a lot of Kenyans there in the streets. Maybe they became homeless or whatever. And maybe it's like maybe the decisions they made when they uh, came here. So what would be your advice to people who are trying to move here? What is your advice like when you first come here? Like, First of all, what I can insist on, the person that will host you for the first yeah. time is very important mm -hmm. because that's the person that can guide you uh, to the to the right direction. If yeah. you get a good host, you you will you will be okay. Another thing is that so you see, like in Kenya, like, uh, let's say the jobs are not too many, so you come here, uh, the jobs are readily available. You can just walk in the street, and there are these jobs. I advertise everywhere so people come here make a, make money and then now they start going into drinking uh into some bad stuff and uh and That's getting with, with bad friends that already lost the direction and they find themselves in street or in trouble yeah so i would advise if you come here be focused uh pick a career keep going and uh, stay focused, stay focused. Yeah, because if there I, is a community yeah. uh, where you are join the community especially at church and yeah you will be guided yeah because i think most of especially our young people mm -hmm. like uh you know you are not used to get so much money like yeah. back home you're paid every month here and uh, you're paid every hour and yeah. by maybe the, the first week or maybe you're, you're paid weekly or by weekly, you get your money. Mm -hmm. And then the first few weeks you try to convert the money into Kenya shillings, you're like, oh my God, this is a lot of money. And so because you are not used to get so much money, you are like, well, you just dwell into drinking, like you said, partying and everything. Mm -hmm. And then before you realize it, you are, you are gone. So mm -hmm. I think that's a very good advice, like know, know you are host because your host is everything and have a focus on what you are coming here to do. Because some people just want to move. Yeah. Because they hear, okay, even, let me not even comment on that. You know, people say like America is the land of milk and honey opportunities. <laughs> like when you land here, the dollars start falling from the trees money follows you everywhere <laughs> like what do, what do you have to say about that what i can say about that that is that america is a home of opportunities yeah you just have to work for it you have to work for it you 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 can become who you want because this like is a very open it's a very big open space full of opportunities so it depends on the direction that you want to pick but let me say, some people have to work three jobs, two jobs, so it does not come easy. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so there's nothing for free here. Nothing for free. You have you don't to work. Get money. They... <laughs> you don't get paid by government. You don't get houses. 
<laughs> you don't get houses, you don't get your car by from the government. You don't get that. <laughs> oh, me, I thought we did. Like we were we are given everything. So that's what people say. That's what people say. Yeah. But wow. People okay. don't sleep here working. I know, right? Yeah. And some people have two, three jobs, like you say, to make yeah, uh, to make ends meet. So uh Terry, what what's your vision? like in the coming years do you do you see yourself where do you see yourself like a young person like have you achieved your dreams yet no yet coming but, to america like uh of course that's one but it's a part of it okay but there is more to come you oh, know there's more yeah. to come there is more to come you have to keep you have to keep advancing to yeah. the once you move to the it's like a staircase Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's this question I'll be uh, I've been wanting to ask my the people from Kenya who have moved here, like especially the young the younger generation. What do you think about investing back home? Do you think because you moved here, you just forget about uh, back home and you concentrate on your life here? Do you think it's a good idea for people to invest uh, here or where they came from? I think that's kind of different because people are different, but uh, from my perspective, I think it's important to invest back home okay. and, uh, uh, and as well invest here. Okay. Yeah. Because this is where you are, your life. Because this is where you are. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Do you see yourself uh, going back home permanently, like in Kenya? <laughs> <laughs> what I usually say is that I don't, uh, I don't want to be uh, like over sixty-five and I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like work right now, work very smart right now, and then uh, you know. But what I say is that you know you can never know the plan of God. Me, I'm all of uh, God plan. If God wants me to be here for the rest of my life, mm -hmm. uh, that's that's okay with me. It's the destiny for me. So mm -hmm. I, I am open about that. Wow. Uh, so um, have you ever gone to other states? Uh, uh, I, 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 when, I, when I came first, I didn't come to the, I mean, to Texas. Texas I, was, okay. I was staying in Maryland. Oh, Maryland. Mm -hmm. And then you went to Texas. And then I went to Texas. I have gone to Mississippi to see my best friend. Okay, wow, Mississippi. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I think Mississippi is close to me. Yeah. So, like, do you? How is Texas? Do you love it? Yeah, Texas is good. Um, not in summer though. <laughs> it oh, can be okay. So you people are suffering like us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because down here in Georgia, it's so hot. But I hear Texas is very hot there. Yeah. And also, we do we have a lot of Kenyans there? Yes, we have a lot of Kenyans. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think the best thing I love about Texas is the big houses. Yeah, everything is big in Texas. That's our, <laughs> that's our theme. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, maybe I'll move there because of the big houses. Like, hey, yeah, you guys have space. Yeah. Wow, Welcome. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Terry. So, I have some few more questions, but uh, we, we'll, we'll get to know you better by the end of this. Um, by the end of this uh, discussion, I have some some questions that I'll mm -hmm. ask you to see if. Uh, of course, you went to school, but don't worry; they are not difficult. They, they are questions we ask here at this <laughs> time. <of> career. <laughs> They are, they, are, they, are not, they, are, they are not difficult, but um, I just want to tell the, uh, our viewers, if if you're there and you know, like, you want to move, you want to move to the U.S., to other countries, you know, U.K., Canada, I think it's very important to know why you're moving. That's the first thing. Like, don't just move because you hear people are going there. Because if you don't have a goal, if you don't have a vision, then you come over here and you get overwhelmed. You get money and then um, money will lead you to doing some other things that you didn't intend to do. So like Terry said, it's good to have a goal. And uh, whatever you you put yourself 
into like whatever you want to do you can achieve it right so it's it doesn't matter if you start from zero if you come here focus you can work and you can still go to school that's um what terry is telling us here terry just tell us before even we go further you said you have a youtube channel yes uh tell our viewers like uh where can we find you like uh do you are you on facebook are you on instagram are you on um youtube channel just give us all your handles okay uh so i am active on facebook and instagram both at terry Erisefan, and my youtube name is uh, terry inspiring world and there i talk uh, on green card uh, coming to the usa and inspiration yeah so make sure you follow me and you subscribe to my channel absolutely uh <laughs> these guys um uh, i'll post uh the link in the description box i mean uh in the comment down below you just go there find her content she's amazing there subscribe to her uh we want to make sure she reach uh she reaches her goal like i know she she did her 1000 subscribers already and she's growing very fast so i know uh uh we are going to grow together and so um and she said she's single <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, tell our viewers, are you single or such and searching or you are contented? I'm single and waiting. <laughs> oh, okay. That, I didn't expect that. Single mm -hmm. and waiting. Yes, yeah, single and waiting. Yes. And even, okay, I said we are not going to spend a lot of time here. But even, okay, talking, maybe that's a whole new discussion. But we talked about uh, life here and being like, it's not like in Kenya, like social life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Social life is very difficult here. Okay, even me, I came here when I was single. And anyway, I'm not single anymore, but I came here when I was single. <laughs> but I know um, it's very difficult from my point of view, like coming here and starting afresh, you know, you don't know about the dating here. Do you think it's difficult, like finding friends you can date or finding people like, you know? Actually, it's kind of difficult because <laughs> I don't know. I hope people will not take it, take this in oh, no, 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 no. But no. this is just my my observation. Yeah. So what I don't like about and like here is that mm -hmm. it's most people are not serious with the relationships mm. and those that are like and some of them you find that oh this is the ex of who this 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 like it's like a, a circle this is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh, you're like no Kenya is definitely good there, there. okay yeah. so because wow okay I, I i i can relate to that and uh don't don't uh be afraid of saying it like it's very difficult because sometimes even finding serious people yeah yeah i think as uh, the boy child we need to man up yeah uh, people are not <laughs> <Let> me, <laughs> there. no we need we need to be serious yeah because i think on the side of the ladies i think you can find a lady who is very yeah you can find a lady is the other way lady yeah. who is waiting but the other, this other gender, I miss it. Our tete, I know. Sometimes they play too much. Sometimes we play too much. But anyway, I think um, that's another discussion altogether. We shall have that discussion <laughs> maybe another time. But anyway, uh, Terry, what do you do? You have any uh, parting shot maybe to young people out there? They might not be in America. They might be in Kenya or wherever. What I would like to say is, uh, no matter where you are, you can succeed, and your dream may come true. Like if just you give it attention and uh, work for it, be persistent. What I know is that once you're ready to uh, to go for something, like it's like God sent people in your way to help you. It's, it's like a, there is a saying that says, uh, once you want to pursue something, 
the whole world conspires to help you. And I have seen that in my life, whether I, I, I was in Kenya or when I'm here, I have seen that you need something, and but just God sent someone and you're like, wow. So go out there, show up, be open-minded, uh, follow your dreams and don't listen to anyone. You know, you know what you want, you know what is best for your life. Yeah, so pursue it. Thank you. I'll, I think I'll not add anything to that. You just pursue whatever you want and you can achieve your dreams wherever you are. And uh, so I said I'm going to ask you uh, this a question. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's... Pharrell always has something. Don't worry about it. We don't. Uh, we t all answers are correct. And um, so it's a very simple question, actually. Have you discovered yourself? Yeah. I am, I, and I'm still discovering myself. <laughs> Thank you. So still there, what do you think uh, discovering yourself uh, means to you? I, I know it's very different uh, with every- Discovering myself, what what discovering myself means to me is I'm able to, to, to follow my purpose, like to, to know my purpose in this life. Because mm -hmm. if you don't know about you, you will not know what you are passionate about, uh, what you can do well. So unless you dig deeper of who you are, you will not be able to uh, to fulfill your purpose in this world. Wow, thank you. Uh, like I said, no answer is wrong. And I think you brought it out very well because this is Discover with Pharrell and we are all about you know discovering ourselves. And so we are waiting for those um, moments and we are waiting for success stories because this is what Discover with Pharrell is all about, you know, bringing out our success stories, you know, like moving from Africa, coming here. We didn't come here to fail. We came here to just discover what is here and be successful. So we are waiting for that story, uh, Terry. Thank you so very much. I appreciate your time being here. On this Thank channel. you so much for having me. This yeah. was great. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't wait to do a, another one. Yeah, Soon. You're, you're, you're much welcome. And so, guys, uh, that was Terry. And uh, uh, like uh, she said, uh, she has a YouTube channel. Please just go there and uh, subscribe. Terry, thank you so very much. I think we shall see each other very soon as we talk about our success. Thank you so much. Have a nice one. Thank you so very much.